Good afternoon, ladies and gents. New shape today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Yeah, the warden got the call. Red phone. Get Chris out of there. I'm not on death row. I'm at like Tupac. Tupac was on death row too, right? Death row records. Yeah. So yes, didn't go to death row. I'm here. We're doing a shave today. So just got out of work today, Tuesday, 5.03 p.m. So I don't know if I'm going to be posting this today on Tuesday. I still got to edit and everything or if I'm going to be posting it tomorrow. But we're going to do a shave today. So what are we shaving with, dude? Yes. Okay. We're going with razor. I'm going to be using my carbon. Thanks, Matt Fox. And we're going to be carbon 360 now stainless with the regular plate. With the regular plate on it. Ooh. Do, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set that up. Blade we're going to go with. Still using the ones I got from Jaybird Vodka. I'm going to try the racer bit. Racer blade today. Racer blade. That's all racer blade. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with the movie Hackers. Razor and blade. Those guys are flakes. <laughs> Ash, crash and burn. What a good couple. <laughs> that movie is way ahead of its time. Always wanted that clear laptop that um, Plague gave to Cool. All right, got the racer in there. Never tried the racer before. Never tried, put it in there. It's kind of cool. You can see, I, I like the bottom on this, this plate on the bottom. It's cool. So yeah, I got that in there. This is a regular plate regular plate yeah so brush we're going with since it is fall now and this is like a fall kind of brush we're going with my amber air light king sergeant kutchman's amber air light 24 millimeter i nodded re-knotted with a maggard's 24 millimeter two band badger not yeah i re-knotted it i wanted to i did it's my brush i could do what i want right soaking it in a lather of shape shit shave and cut that's it yeah i got some hot water in there hot water Ooh. okay what else are we doing, Chris? Well, we're going to be doing oh, clown fruit. Didn't you see the whole freaking clown fruit thing? Yes, son of clown fruit. Now, if you guys have Will of the Wisp, son of clown fruit, or the regular clown fruit, yes, this Will of the Wisp label and this label is unobtainium. All three of them are the exact same version. The glow, scent-wise, and everything. There's no difference between all three of them except for the label and what they were called. So... If you have any one of them it's the exact same formula so yeah don't know if douglas is bringing this back this year i heard from tobin that uh doug said he's not going to bring back all the halloween stuff so i have no clue what douglas is bringing back i don't work for him it's his own company he's a very smart and very good businessman so i don't know what he's coming out with so it's kind of cool it's always like a surprise and like i like that i think that's awesome so but we're going to be using son of clown fruit very good baby it it's a baby it. It's a baby it. Got cube up here. Got a little trick or treat. <laughs> the scent profile is Artemisian, Artemisian wormwood, Hungarian oak, elderflower, absinthe, neroli, amaris, elderberry, brick sugar, and tobacco. Very cool, unique, very very unique scent. It's sweet. It's a lot of people say like juicy fruit or like um, root beer bottle caps. I used to say root beer bottle caps, but I think our nose is picking up the absinthe or the wormwood. That's what I'm probably picking up because it's a nice, it's a sweet scent, but it's, this is a very unique scent. If anybody's ever smelt this before, you guys know it's like a unique scent. Very cool. Oh yeah. And I got my uh, Will of the Wisp in the bedroom. So I'm going to be loading it up and put it in a bowl. Pre-shave we're going to be going is a blue sewing. That matched pretty all right. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. With face. WTF. If I was doing this tomorrow, it'd be WTF Wednesday, but no. So, yeah, four days of growth. Good. All right, going with the blue stone cube. Blue stone cube. I think it matches. Matches the colors. Yeah. Goes with uh, clown fruit. Oh, son of clown fruit. Mini it. Mm -mm. How y'all doing today? Tuesday. Tuesday. Do, do. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday? Taco Tuesday? 
Call Cam Tuesday? Thirsty Thursday? <laughs> okay. Got it all here. Whipped up. Voila. 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 He is clean. So thinking, speaking about Tupac in the beginning, I was actually listening to... Oh, yeah. Very nice. Big scrubby. You guys are familiar with hip-hop. If you're not, then you don't know. So you don't know. So I was listening to Hit Em Up by Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> now, then I was like, I remember the Eminem song where Eminem did a diss track with D12 and it was, uh, it was a diss track for Everlast. And I just listened to that song that, like, at work and I'm like, man, he just, he killed that dude. <laughs> yeah. Murdered on wax and kill. Can't be saying, I can't say all the lyrics on here because, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. But yes, I'm not in I'm out of death row. That was a cool shave though, man. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for tagging me, dude. Alright, so here we go. Oh. Razor. Alan Block. Pass number one. Yeah. Four days growth, yeah. Had the Gillette skin guard on Friday. Now today's Tuesday. Oh, this is a nice razor. Very nice. That's a nice blade so far. Let's see how it goes the rest of the way, Chris. That's only one cheek. One cheek. Do do. Oop. Yes, very good. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be posting this today or maybe I'll edit it today. Edit it tonight. Today. Edit tonight. Edit it tonight. And then maybe I'll post it tomorrow after I get off work. I don't know. But yes, it is Tuesday. And it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> do, do, do. Ooh. A lot different doing a DE though. Compared to like a cart like cart, you could just go zing through it real quick. I can take my time. Well, I do take my time. I don't, I can kind of zip through kind of a little bit, but not like with like a cart or cart. You just, you don't have to be wary of like the top cap and the base plate and the razor. Nice feedback. That's got some really dang good feedback on there. Look at this. Let's get this going. Put that cube of the blue so in. Yeah. Yeah, very nice feedback with this carbon. I got me a carbon razor now. Thanks, Matt Fox. Yes. Carbon. Yeah, good. Okay. Get a little bit more here. Well, he was kind of stoked. He spent most of his days just a dreaming of the city. Then one day, he bought a guitar. Moved to Hollywood to become a star. Built this house out of straw. What a pity. You guys know that one? I used to have that album. On cassette. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> It's a pretty good album. The whole album is pretty good, but that's like the main song. Like, they're a one hit wonder, but still a pretty good album. Hey, yo, Wolfface. I'm your worst nightmare.
cool in the beginning too when the, before the song starts or whatever like really starts wolf's like sitting there he's like got sunglasses so. <laughs> One weeper. Sad little fella. All right, cool, good. Good, 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 good. And the cheeks, and then we be done. Like, sand the cheeks. So has anyone tried the, tried this one yet? This is a subscriber one? Either the Will of the Whiffs, Subtle Clown Fruit, or the regular Clown Fruit. So, have you tried any of them? Mm -hmm. Tell me your uh, thoughts down below in the comments. If you've tried it. If not, then you haven't tried it. If it comes out, check out a sample. I've given a few samples away of the... In my tub, just scraped it out of the tub and sent it off. Send it on its way. Good. We good. We good. You good? Y'all have good out there? Just got out of death row. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm at a dang song in my head. Cool. Cool, daddy -o. Yeah. Square cat. All right. Very close. Very smooth. Couple weepers. Not in the problem area, though. There's one there. One there. Not bad, though. All right. Clean up and be right back. Because you're my lady. I'm your fool. Makes me crazy when you act so cruel. Come on, baby. Let's not fight. We'll go dancing and everything will be all right. Wake me up. <laughs> oh, you're still in a good mood. Yeah, that's a good song. I don't care what y'all say. I like that song. It's good. Anyway, yeah, very close. Got one weeper there, and there's one whatever did. Did a bug. <laughs> so, yeah, just that one right there. There was one there, but it's gone. So, PA on block. Don't leave me hanging out like a yo yo. Wake me up. Take me down tonight. I wanna hit that high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of music. <laughs> Being a musician since I was like 14, listening to what my mom had when I was a kid. Still got my mom's like in the bedroom, like 45s. So much different music from like the 60s and 70s, 80s. So yeah. I grew up around a lot of music, so I know a lot. Alright, so after today we're coming with you, team. Phoenix Artist and Accoutrement, Son of Clown Fruit. Nice and dark. It's real dark. Spooky. Take a whiff. Take a whiff. It smells good. Oh, yes. And with the splash, a lot of this stuff comes out. It's a, it, you could smell the tobacco a little bit. It's spicy. I think it's that absinthe and that wormwood that people, a lot of people smell. And they say it smells like juicy fruit or um, root beer bottle caps. Yeah, it's almost cinnamon, but there's no cinnamon in it. So it's a nice, it's a cool scent. If you haven't tried it, I would check it out. Or if someone else has it, ask them to send you like a sample or something. Or if they come back, PA comes back with it this year, try it out. Like, I think this would pair well with, um, I cannot remember. I'll put it right here. I'll go have to write it down. I know it's in my head. I'll write it down right here. I think it would pair well with that because that one is actually a um, spicy, um, not F bomb. Whatever bombs. Yeah, this one. Right here. Yeah. So, okay. Anyway. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. Spice bomb. Spice bomb. Okay. Yeah. 
That's good. All right, recap of what we used today. We used Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements on a clown flute aftershave. Oh, he's got his little balloon, but it's clown. Or it's a cube. Yeah. Pierre yeah, Amblat. Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements. Amber Aerolite, 24 millimeter, maggard, tube band, badger, not Tyree, not it. In there. Carbon Razor, normal. Carbon 316L, stainless with a regular plate. And a Racer DE blade, not bad. Just got one little weeper there, and he's gone too. He's gone. He's good. He's gone. Appreciate for use is PA Blue Sewing, Sco scooped with my base pick in my put at a bolt, wood color, unbreakable. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Soaked in that. Glad to be shaving mug. And is that? Yeah, that's it. So use Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Son of Clown Fruit. I don't know if he's bringing this one back this year. I don't know any Halloween stuff he's bringing back. So if you ask me in the comments, I have no freaking clue. So, yeah. But if you have Will the Wisp, or you have Son of Clown Fruit, or you have any other thing called Clown Fruit, it's all the same stuff, just a different label. So, yeah. We're going, going with that. Stick it to it. So, that's it. That's a good shave. That's pretty good on a Tuesday. Ooh, Tuesday. Afternoon. See, I know a lot of the music, right? So, hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shave, more to come. I'm out of death row. Yeah, so, in case they don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> see you ladies and gents to the Boomin' Show.